Hey, what's up, Nick's fam? Now, before you go nuts in the comments, let me say this. This is just a look at film and what we need to learn from this game. I know it's just one game, but there's lots to learn from it, especially that 4 minutes of madness before halftime. Let's jump right in. If you had watched the game, you would know that the issue started in that disastrous second quarter at around 4.10 when the starting lineup allowed the Raptors back in the game after going up 15. Now I say starting lineup, but most of the issues stem from our star Julius Randle's bad habits. So Randle comes down the floor after getting a defensive rebound. He basically does nothing with the ball and when the double team came, he gets himself into further trouble by dribbling into the corner. He gets lucky the Raptors deflect the ball out of bounds. In the ensuing out of bounds, he uses up all the clock and chucks up a brick. So he basically had the ball the whole of that 24 seconds and he proceeds to jog back on defense. We end up giving up an open three. Next play. Again, they pass it to Randall in the corner. Look at the shot clock. 8 seconds. Now he ends up wasting it and OG has him on clamps as he chucks up an air ball. Now at this point, I would have called the timeout if I was Thibs to tell the guys, hey, iso ball is not working, we need to move the ball. Now we've seen this before, when things don't work out for Randall on offense, he starts to zone out on defense. Here Randall doesn't box out and we give the Raptors another possession. What is the issue here? Now Randall just stands there when a pick and roll is happening right in front of his eyes. Because he doesn't stretch to the corner or even clear out to the weak side to give Fournier space to drive left, we almost turn it over again. Luckily, Fournier and Mitch play a smart give and go and we get a goal 10 and 2 points. Again, Randall wants the ball and he turns it over when Trent comes over to double team him. At this point, it was a full-blown disaster. Look at Kemba and this atrocious transition defense. He was guarding nobody when Trent, his man, was wide open at the three-point line. No idea why he ran under the basket. Again, Randall over dribbles and of course, he gets the ball poked away. Top of the key is the worst place to turn the ball over. The Raptors get a 4-on-1 fast break. No way Kemba is going to stop OG going for a dunk. This was like a double whammy. Randall here with a bad switch, he leaves too much room for the slip pass and Taj does an admiral job covering for his mistake but he ends up rolling his ankle. To compound the misery, we give up another 3. Even Fournier gets into the craziness and tries to go at 3 guys when there's still time on the clock to get a good shot. Randall and RJ had a better look here. So in conclusion, I hope Randall understands he takes too much time to make his moves. We need ball movement and easy baskets, especially when the opposing team starts to get momentum and is making a run. By holding the ball and taking all these bad shots, we're just giving them more fuel to catch up. We also need some other guy on the floor to say, hey Julius, ISO hasn't worked for the last few possessions, let's run our offense, let's move the ball. So there you have it. Agree? Disagree? Comment down below, let me know. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe so you don't miss future videos. If you stayed till the end, know that I appreciate you. I'll see you in the next one. Bing bong!